All right, guys, here we are day two on beautiful Lake Fork. I sucked it up yesterday, like big time, really big time, but that's okay. That's okay, we brought in the heavy artillery today. <laughs> My good friend Bryce, if you guys have watched the channel for a while, you know who he is. Big swim bait master of Texas. How many times do you fish Lake Fork in your life? Because it's not an easy lake to figure out, is it? No, it's not that easy. If you fish it all the time, you'll figure it out. But yeah, yeah it's definitely not easy. But since You've been I was fishing probably, it since, yeah, that big? That big. I'll take all the help I can get. We're gonna get out here. We're gonna try to fish deep. You wanna start deep or start shallow? Uh, I think we're gonna hit some points starting off right up here and then a couple of ponds and then we'll go out and get some new stuff. Perfect, he's got his big swim bait boxes. We got big spoons. We're gonna try not to get them snapped because do you have a lure retriever? Food, so. we, have we can lose a hundred if we catching a ten pounder today. It's fine. I'm okay with that. All right, let's get on the water. Dang, man. <laughs> First cast. I think it's a small fish if I still have it. Well, we just pulled up to this first point. Oh yeah, it is. We pulled up to. See, like I can't, I don't catch a fish. No, it's a bass. I don't catch yeah. a fish all day on fork. We pull up to Bryce's first spot. I don't even have the GoPro rolling yet. I'm just getting up here. I <laughs> take a cast with the red eye and I catch my first lake fork bass. Awesome. Show them that bait you're throwing real quick. He's going, of course, he's going for the home run hit because we're on lake fork. I'll catch the little ones. I'll get my, uh, I'll get my confidence back in lake fork. <laughs> I was like, no way, that's a fish. First cast. Easy, huh? First cast. I like the way this day is starting. Already better than seven hours of fishing yesterday. Well, that's a good sign. They're eating. Oh, yeah. We're going to start off fishing the shoreline. There's a lot of wood right here. Good news is that we uddled over here, and I did not knock my transducers off. We didn't hit too many logs, so the day is starting off amazing so far. It's gonna get really warm today. I'm gonna welcome it with open arms. It's gonna be like 75 and sunny, I think, maybe even warmer. So, should be a really good day out here, especially since we already caught one. The monkey's off the back. That's the guy's service you need to be on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> with the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> they have down. There's like eight people on that pontoon. It's like, oh, there's another stick. There's like eight people on that pontoon. It's almost sinking. This is not. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be really, if not over, really close to the to the weight re restriction limit on that boat. But uh, yeah, Lake Fork is not just a, a popular big bass. Like people come here for crappie, catfish, even uh, sandies. Yeah, sandbass. <laughs> they are cruising to that crappie hole. <laughs> They're trying to get that grill fired up for breakfast crappies. All right, new spot. New spot. We need to link up with the Find the 10. Try to find a 10. Find a 10. That's all we want, just one. Yeah, that's a fish. There you go. Oh, come on. I don't know if it's that big or not, but he's pretty wrapped. Come on, line. Can you see it? I don't know if it's big or not. Oh, it feels pretty big. Oh, it's a big fish. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Give us some. Yes! Look at that. Yes! Oh my god. Dude, I flipped that chatty bit up in there, and all of a sudden it just went slack. Lake Check Mother me. Fork. Yes. Oh, yes. Dude, you hear that line? That is 12 pound floral. <laughs> oh man. I don't know if she'll I don't know if she'll quite go eight pounds, but <laughs> oh, look at that tank, dude. Hell yeah. You said like I'm like, should we keep fishing these piers? Hell yeah, we go fish them piers. <laughs> Oh, stud, dude. Flipping chatterbaits. I guarantee that's over six pounds. He's at least six pounds. Oh, it's a seven pounder, dude. Where'd he go? 
Six eleven. Dang. Freaking tank. <laughs> Fork stud, man. Hell yeah. Sitting right up in that shade under the pier, right where she's supposed to be. Look at that. Beautiful. This is why you bust your ass at Fork because exactly. there's. This isn't even a big one for Fork. It's a nice one though. It's a nice one though. All right, let's get a couple pictures. Yeah. Bryce, I think you have a uh, a good luck big bass charm. You got like a rabbit foot? <laughs> I keep here. it in my pocket at all times. We considered keeping this fish in the live well. Ooh, we got the thing still on here. We considered keeping this fish in the live well to have like a picture with two big ones, but uh, my live wells aren't big enough for Texas bass because this isn't even a Texas, I mean, it's a giant bass pretty much anywhere in the country, but they get much bigger on Lake Fork. So what was it, 610? Yeah, 611. Just a beautiful dock fish, too. I'm comfortable with dock fishing. All day long. All day long. It's just a beautiful, healthy, flawless fish all the way down. They eat well on Lake Fork. Perfect. All right, we got some amazing pictures. Time to let Big Bertha go. My first big bass on Lake Fork. Could not have done it without Bryce because I fished here for seven hours yesterday and could not catch a bass. I've now caught two fish today, including this big one. So, Bryce, you, I think you have these big Texas fish figured out, man. It's, it's crazy. You guys can check out his YouTube, his Instagram. This is what he does all day, every day, catch big Texas fish. And there he goes. See you later, girl. Thank you, sir. Let's catch some more. How about that? Let's do it. It's not even getting warm yet. We figured it's going to be an afternoon bite because it's going to get, like, like I said earlier, it's going to get like 75 and sunny. Think of what time is it? It's not even 10 o'clock It's yet. early. We're just it's getting early. started. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. For a little over an hour. There is time for way more biggins. This is what I caught on to. It's a confidence bait back home, but he said chatterbaits work so well on this lake. A little green pumpkin chatterbait. Pitched it up onto the dock. Boom. She just ran with it. Really thankful my line didn't snap there on all the, uh, the piling. I mean, look at this. This dock is just a maze. That is that fish's home. That is her domain. I do not think there's any other bass down there. That's her spot. I'm gonna retie, catch one bigger. You want that 10, don't you? That's all we wanted. That's a, that was a warm up fish. <laughs> We're not gonna go to a, an entirely dock pattern, but it's nice to know that there are fish on the docks. Once the sun gets up real high, we, ooh, that wasn't good. I just woke up every bass under that dock. Once the sun gets up real high, we're gonna try that whole offshore fishing thing again. See how that goes, but that's where a majority of the real big ones are, right? All right, we're making a little bit of a move here. The dock pattern was uh, not very good. We didn't caught that bass about an hour and a half earlier, and we spent the last hour and a half fishing like at least 20, 25 docks. Could not get another bite, so thought the dock program was really gonna be good because that was the second dock we fished, really, and caught that big one, but uh, no more. So we're gonna go fish some grass right now. Fishing some grass. All right, on our way to go fish the grass spot, we have to stop at this waypoint that I fished a bunch yesterday. We just graphed and went over it again, and there are still bass down there. It's like the top of a hump, and it's all barren, and there's one really big tree with a couple bass on it. There's not as many as there were yesterday, but there are still fish there. So we're going to spend 10, 15 minutes and try to get on a bite. Dropping the big jig. Yeah. I will catch a damn bass offshore eventually. If I just stick at it, it's going to happen. All right, shocker, could not catch any bass offshore. Not exactly a big shocker to me, but we gave her the old college try. That's all you can ask for. We're back in the weeds right now. Me and Bryce were just saying, like, Lake Fork is definitely not a numbers lake. Because what's the slot in this lake? It's 16 to 24, right? You cannot keep a bass from 16 to 24 inches. You have to, A bass has to be two feet long for you to keep it. So... This lake gets absolutely pounded with tournaments, and the reason this isn't really a numbers lake is because there's tournaments every week. Like, there's weekday ones, there's, like, weekend ones, and all those people are going for the smaller fish. They're going, they're trying to catch as many numbers as they can because they're looking for a fish that are 14 to 16 inches long. So with all that pressure, especially people trying to catch just numbers, it really just takes a toll on the fish. But at the same time, that slot limit allows the lake to grow so many big bass, so... It's definitely a double-edged sword, but I'll take the opportunity for big bass any day. Just reel up to it and pop it. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, Chris. Don't 
blame me for that one. <laughs> that is the funniest way I've ever seen someone ever get a snag out. Just push the tree down. <laughs> Bryce got his big expensive swim bait stuck at the top of the tree because the wind took his cast. <laughs> Timber. Watch out. Bryce, let's hear a little update. How's, how's the bite? Nah, you don't want to know. It's bad, guys. I haven't even caught a fish today. This dude cost us almost a seven pounder and a short this morning and I can't do anything to save my life. It's just been a grind and a struggle today typical lake port it's really been crazy because we've been bouncing around fishing a ton of different stuff we've been back in creeks we've fished offshore points uh, we've pretty much fished everything i gave a really short list to you guys there but i don't know it's really late in the day we've been out here for a really long time we only have about hour and a half yeah like an hour and a half left do you want to go fish that point near the dam now that deep spot because deep is really the only thing we have not given a lot of time to no sniffs on the swim bait we fished way more docks this afternoon and also caught nothing so I think that almost seven pounder was just completely random and luck I think it was just a thing where I put in enough time at Lake Fork you're gonna get lucky with a big one that's just how this lake is we're way 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 back in this tiny creek right now didn't catch anything back here so I think for our last couple spots we're gonna try a little bit offshore it's really windy so we went back in some creeks tried to fish grass but didn't work Lake Fork is being Lake Fork yet again Oh, we oh caught a god. fish. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, no way. There's still bass in oh Lake Fork. <laughs> oh, last spot of the very last light of the day. The sun's going to set in like two minutes. We grinded her out for this. Worth it, Bryce? <laughs> the Ned rig off a point. I felt it. I'm like, that was a bite. I haven't felt one of those in a while. Oh man, it's only been about, I don't know, what, 10 hours since you felt one? It sure seems like it. If not, it was really close. Pretty dang close to it. Today has been an absolute grinder. Bryce and I both had so much confidence in today because the weather had set up perfectly the last couple of days. We had four days straight of warm, sunny south wind, so really stable conditions. Tomorrow there's a big cold front moving through. Well, not big, but the winds totally switch, come out of the north. It gets cold, it doesn't really get over 53, 50, no, it actually gets a low 60s tomorrow, but same difference, it gets a lot colder, the winds totally switch, so a front moves through. We thought they were gonna really turn on today before the front, and uh, yeah, sure enough. I mean, we caught a seven pounder on the day, so the day was definitely a win, but uh, yeah, that's the first fish we've caught in seven hours. All right, guys, so this is going to be a super random outro. I filmed my outro in the hotel, but I don't know what happened. I know the mic was on, but there was no audio in the clip, so we're just going to roll with it. Huge shout out and a thank you to Bryce for taking me out on Fork that day and showing me all his spots. I would not have been able to catch that big one without his help. The crazy thing is that this was filmed on a Tuesday. It's not Thursday morning. Yesterday, I caught a bass that was so much bigger than this 611. It's just unbelievable. So I'm so excited to share that one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be on the lookout for that giant, giant fish.